Hi guys, welcome to the 11th class of IPC and today's topic is offenses against property. This is Lokesh Patak with you and uh, in this section we'll we'll in in this class of today we'll cover the sections from section 493 to 498A. So we'll start with section 493 which is cohabitation caused by a man deceitfully inducing a belief of lawful marriage so in this section before going into details you have seen two uh, words one is cohabitation and one is deceitfully always remember these two words to determine this section of ipc it's cohabitation caused by a man deceitfully inducing a belief of lawful marriage and but the but the scene here is that the no law, lawful marriage marriage has been done to a woman and they are cohabiting and having sexual intercourse also so in such case such cohabitation is considered as an offense and the punishment for such offense is mentioned as 10 years imprisonment and fine there is a case related to this in that this decision was taken which is ramchandra bhagat versus state of jharkhand 2012 case in that this uh, uh, punishment was awarded now section 494 says that the it's bigamy basically so bigamous marriage has been described in section 494 which says marrying again during lifetime of husband or wife first of all such marriage is void and the punishment mentioned for doing so is 7 years imprisonment and fine now there are two exceptions to this section 494 bigamous marriage the first is if the previous marriage is declared void by a court or competent jurisdiction then it's no more an offense and your marriage is valid but the second point if the previous marriage is not declared void but the previous husband or wife at the time of subsequent marriage they shall have been absent for the space of at least 7 years and shall have not heard from such person if he or she is alive provided the person contracting subsequent marriage before committing the marriage informs the person of this to whom he is contracting the subsequent marriage so this is very clear that there are two exemptions to this this will not be a crime first if the previous marriage has been declared void by a court of competent jurisdiction very clear and second if the person who is committing the subsequent marriage he has not heard from that person or the previous husband or wife for a period of 7 years and uh, there is no information whether he is alive or not and the period is of 7 years passed then he can commit the subsequent marriage but the condition here is that he has to inform the person with whom he is committing the subsequent marriage about his previous marriage section 495 says the sec uh, elaborates the second condition which we have just discussed which is section 4942 as 4942 says that he should inform the person with whom he is committing the consequent marriage or the second marriage if he does not inform her or him about the previous marriage then it is an offense as per section 495 and uh, such concealment of former marriage fact from the person with whom subsequent marriage is being contracted is subject to a punishment of 10 years imprisonment and fine and the case in which it is decided the reference case is subhash babu versus state of andhra pradesh it's all india reporter case of 2011 in that it was decided section 496 says about the lawfulness of marriage ceremony it says that the marriage ceremony which is fraudulently gone without the lawful marriage in such case the offender is subject will be subject to a uh, to a punishment of 7 years imprisonment and fine while 497 talks about adultery actually uh, first we'll go to the what the law says what the ipc says and then we will discuss about the recent advancement in this case 497 adultery says what is adultery it defines it it says that adultery is having sexual intercourse with a person who is knows or reasons to believe to be wife of another person without consent or connivance of that man such intercourse shall not be not be amounting to rape but the adultery so adultery is defined in terms of man that having sexual intercourse with a person who he knows or who actually is or he has the reasons to believe that who is the wife to of a person which is another person and doing such act without the consent or convenience of that person so that act becomes adultery and the punishment for such act is 5 years imprisonment or fine or both now as per the recent development 
this uh, the adultery is no more a criminal offense in indian jurisdiction and the reference case is joseph sign versus ui year 2018 in that case it is decided that adultery is no more a criminal offense now section 498 talks about enticing or taking away of or detaining with criminal intention a married woman so if you if you entice or take away or if you criminally detain a lady who is married to a person then you will be under an offense as per section 498 of ipc which describes the punishment as 2 years imprisonment or fine or both section 498a says that if a husband or relative of husband of a woman subject her to cruelty then he is subject to be uh, under a uh, punishment of imprisonment of 3 years and fine so this is the all about the sections related to offenses against the marriage in indian penal code from section 493 to 498a so this is a brief of all those sections and the important points and case laws i try to brought to your notice and you can prepare based on these and all the best to you in your studies learnings and preparations of indian penal code stay touch keep in touch